number one is the children of the community. There are several young families that live there. It's a very active community. We have tons of kids that play basketball in the streets because it's a slow area. There's only one entrance in and one entrance out. So if this is going to be a recreational park or a retreat area for RVs and areas like in things like that, it's going to increase the traffic load tremendously. The amount of traffic that has been going back to this area already has disrupted my family. My children are now afraid to go on the back porch to even play because of the loud noises of the trucks. And I have two year olds. I know that the other family that connects to this property has a two year old as well. And they're afraid for her to go outside. That's the reason they have redone their entire back porch. Um, several other concerns was the fact that this is listed, um, the tax exempt code is listed as an E50, um, which under classifications that I have read and found is a rehabilitation medical facility. I have a huge issue with that. If you're going back there to treat psychiatric patients, physical therapy, anything like that, that's an issue. That's a commercial business. I'm in the medical field. So I know there's a ton of regulations that go along with that. Um, another issue is the type of people that are going to be back there. Not that I'm against veterans or what they're for, what they stand for, how much they've helped the community in the area that we live in. But in recent years, there has been enough negativity that goes along with PTSD and everything else. And it has been stated that there would be gunfire back there. So, um, it was quoted that no bullet would leave the property, but there is no fencing, no anything to protect my children playing in their backyard. None whatsoever. Um, the facility has also posted online that it promotes alcohol use because they were going to take people to cocktail mix mixing classes. So, my issue is PTSD plus gunfire, plus alcohol. I don't care what medical school you go to, that is not a good combination whatsoever. It's not safe for the people, it's not safe for the children of that community whatsoever. Um, there have been threats posted on the internet once we found out about this um, by members of Sheepdog r and &R. Um, it was stated, why do people always have to stick their noses into other people's business? Um, just a reminder that be watching this. So, that's the type of people that are going to be back there behind my house and around other houses in the facility, other houses in the community, and around all the children. So, that's what I have found out about this facility. I've also found out that there have been issues with um, the board members and that it has all changed names and hands now as well. So. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Can you describe a little bit? I have a, I'm a much better, I, I do much better with sort of graphic image of what we're talking about. Is there a road that you live on that is being used to access? Yes, sir. What's your current zoning? You know, I'm, I'm, I guess residential and voluntary for the states. I have no idea. My um, my research on this is that volunteer view section is R1 residential. However, the property 101 some odd area that Mr. Taylor has is approximately 76 acres and it's zoned agricultural. But the adjacent properties that are part of volunteer subdivision, my understanding, are some of the part of the residential. And, there, and, and apparently it is 74 acres of land lot other than the code that uses. That I don't know. That's something we have to ask him. Is he, is he here? He's here. Okay. Hopefully we will have a picture. You don't have to have a picture. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the plat. On the, on a picture of what? The plat, like the plat of your subdivision so we can see where 
understand. Uh, Platt is a piece of math. Okay. And, and like I said, this, this body deals with real estate, understanding where things are in conjunction with other things. It's helpful. the increased vehicles here lately um, and it was large vehicles bringing loads of sawdust and things like that from what I've noticed but I'm not at the house during the day this is what my nanny has been telling me when, do you know when um, like loud noises and trucks um, the other family we did the entire back porch they're still currently under construction right now on, on the back porch um, when did for you the know? Arnold's and um, Barbara says anywhere, she's usually out on the porch with the kids, um, 10.30 to 11.30 typically, and then in the afternoon as well. Um, what I was going to ask is, um, you know approximately when we started noticing the loud trucks and, or that the name started noticing the loud trucks? It was probably, I know she mentioned it in April, I don't know if it was in March or not. April 2019? Yeah. What were some other things that you were concerned with prior to the April 2019? Um, was it? To be perfectly honest with you, I had no idea anything was even back there. I knew that there was a gentleman that lived back there who cut down a lot of trees. And it was it in April? When was it brought to your attention that somebody was living when, there? When did we, when he was living there? When, no, and you can ask for help in the days. When was, uh, when was it brought to your attention that this was attempted to be a veteran's retreat? Since this is a little more informal, I'm going to confirm this. And that's mostly all the steel 
side. It got, kind of goes out a little point, but it's mostly the steel side. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of it doesn't and look like this property is part of the subdivision. Or is it bad? It says, whenever they looked it up, they said it was zoned that A1 But the only way to get to it is through our subdivision. There's no other way to have access. This is, yeah. Mr. Taylor has confirmed in this slide. This is, it's landlocked. So the only way, see, that's Jim Cummins Highway. That's Highway 53, the main highway. That's really the road into the subdivision. And then that similar really road right there to the property it is completely landlocked. Right. So the only way anyone can get to that property is to drive through that subdivision oh. and then turn it over. The way it's set up. Is everybody, in, or just to ask, are all board members clear on how the entrance to the property is situated? Well, I'm saying, well, let's go ahead and clarify. 
Yeah, he does have the right to access for RV usage. Our purpose today is to determine whether he has a commercial operation on an area zoned agricultural. And if so, then if there's an exception, and if not, then whether he's grandfathered in. That's, he has the right under our zoning ordinance to bring an RV into his, into his property. What he doesn't have the right to do is use his property in violation of our zoning ordinance. So, and to with logging, you pretty well, I, I, you know, the, dip, the sound of a log truck going in and out or something, that's not, that doesn't bother me. It's not knowing who's back there or what kind of mental instabilities or PTSD that they're dealing with. Is there any sort of uh, canopy or anything like that that, can anybody from their back porch or from their yard see back through there? She, you can see what's going on back there. It's been cleared out. Well, that's about it for what I have. But it, you know, the biggest thing is just safety for our children. Did you say how long you lived there? My mom has lived there twelve years. Thank you. Are there any questions, Mr. King? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to add, if more doesn't mind, I would like to ask the volunteer view folks, any of y'all can answer this, have you ever heard gunfire back there? Yes, I have. Okay. When, how many times have you heard gunfire back there? Twice. Twice. Okay. Was it recently? Mm, it was before all this even started. It was before I found out about what was back there. Restrictions on gunfire. No. Yeah. And it's not observed by the So, was the concern was the concern with when it was determined in February that it was going to be a veterans retreat? Is that when folks got concerned and there wasn't really? Whenever it showed up that it was going to be a medical rehabilitation facility, and I got to looking on their website, mm -hmm. and they were talking about how um, you didn't need a site doctor just a good campfire would fix it. Really? Okay. I can pull the quote up if you want to read me. If you want me to read it. And where, no, did, you, where did you see that? On the Facebook page. The Facebook page of the of the which no longer on. exists, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And we we'll, won't we'll get into that. Anybody else volunteer view? I mean, he can't keep his dog in his own yard, in his own property, so why can he keep people back there? His dog has come in my yard and attacked mine before. Well, we can't. I know, I know, but I mean, yeah. here's the thing, here's the thing. You're going to bring all these people back here. We have no idea who they are. If I want to know who lives in my subdivision, guess what? I go pull the property cards, and I can Google whatever I want. If they're on the sex offender list, Guess what? I can know about it. But you, you do I have no idea. But you do agree that like this. But you do agree that this board doesn't have any authority. Oh, I know. Any more than anybody else to determine who can live where, even if it's even if it's a registered sex offender. I get on the I, I when I get bored, I check the registry, and the dots pop up everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you can't go burn them out of there. It just is what it is. And 
even if you can, it's not, you know, it, it, the zoning, it doesn't really, from a, from an, from an emotional and a subjective a perspective, it is, a, it, it is a possible safety issue and there are possible issues, but what we have to look at is zoning. Okay. And so with that being said, if there's no others for volunteer view, um, Mr. Taylor, would you like to speak? Yes, sir. All right, step forward, sir. I'd like to address some of the misconceptions. I, I do need to correct you on one thing, sir. Sure. The, uh, the donation request that's there, they did not go out to the neighborhood. It went to businesses in there. Uh, the, uh, and we haven't kept this a secret. The website was set up uh, July, uh, June of last year, or year before last. Is it copy. still up? No, the website is not up at, at present. What, why isn't it? 